and having your UVs for each individual object is okay, but of course we want to have these packed together. There is one asset we don't want packed, and that's just going to be our glass. So if we want to take this into our external texturing program, and we're going to put a new mat or a different material on the glass, that can be UV'd in its own zero to one space. So if you actually go in here to glass and underneath auto UV, you're going to see it's already doing a pack. In fact, these packing options are built in uh, right into the auto UV options. So not only does it unwrap, using these options up here underneath method, packing is also uh, available to us. And in fact, packing is really, really fast in Houdini. So in here where it says no rotations, you can drop this down to like five degrees and crank up your iterations and it'll do a very, very fast job giving you an ideal packing solution. So as far as I'm concerned, if we're going to have the glass as a separate material and it needs to be packed into zero to one, the glass is done. So I'm just going to move this down here. However, the rest of these, the teeth, the eyes, the headgear, and the body, if I want those to be all on one material, I want them all packed together in a zero to one, uh, we're going to need to do that. So I'm going to drop these nodes down so they're all on the same level. Let's go ahead and merge all of these objects together. So I'm going to hit tab, type in merge. And I was going to plug these one in after the other. So we're going to take our body, headgear, eyes, and teeth. And right now we have a bunch of overlapping UVs and it looks like when we did the merge node, uh, some stuff turned black. That's easy enough to fix. Let's go ahead and hit tab and let's type in attribute delete. Let's go ahead and plug in this merge node and we're going to delete some attributes out of here. So underneath point attributes, let's go ahead and turn off color and normal. And there we have uh, something that looks a little bit better. Oh, another thing we want to do, we have the visualize UVs kind of sitting in here. So if I turn on uh, attribute delete and let's hit uh, control one. Well, let's leave this alone for now, but let's go ahead and hit this uh, arrow key. You're going to see an empty string in here. This visualize UVs doesn't really need to be in the path of anything. It can kind of be off to the side to visualize. So I'm going to go and take this unwrap straight to the symmetrize. That'll go ahead and get rid of that string sitting there. We can always visualize our UVs uh, as needed. Uh, but like I said, it can just be kind of sitting off to the side. So now if I go down here to attribute delete, we've got all of our names here. Oops, looks like we're missing one for the eyes. And that's because we did our exo side, but we didn't do an attribute transfer. So let's hit tab, attribute transfer. Let's give us ourselves a little bit more room. I'm going to grab all these nodes and kind of pull them down a little bit. So here we've got our quad remesher. We're going to plug that into the input of the attribute transfer. Attribute transfer can go down here to the rhizome UV mapping and then eyes null can go into the attribute transfer. And now for the attribute transfer itself, turn off points and for primitives, go ahead and choose name. And now when you go down here to the bottom, you can see we got our eyes back or at least the name attribute of the eyes.